Today is World Alzheimer's Day, a day to raise awareness about the disease and its impact on patients and their families and caregivers. It is the most common type of dementia, impacting almost 44 million people across the world. And according to the CDC, it's also one of the 10 leading causes of death in the United States. Alzheimer's disease is progressive and begins with mild memory loss, possibly leading to less responsiveness over time. All of our families, we all know or have someone that we have loved that's been touched by Alzheimer's. To raise awareness, you can wear a purple bracelet or a ribbon today. The Alzheimer's Association says the number of Alzheimer's diagnoses in the United States is expected to more than double by 2015, uh, 2050, with the Hispanic population particularly impacted. As part of our Voices of Equality series, Palacero looks at why this disease disproportionately impacts Hispanic people. But look at that smile. This photo album, while well, she's still stunning, takes Denise Rivas back to her childhood. This is from my senior prom, years before she became her mother's caretaker. To see my mom every day have that force to wake up and keep on fighting, that's someone who has guts and just strength. And the swing at a park down the road from Denise's home. That um, youthfulness took her mother, Ari Acevedo, back to before she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's can take a lot of things from her, but not that joy. Ari is one of 150,000 people who, according to the Alzheimer's Association, are living with this degenerative disease in Georgia. The organization says Hispanic people like Ari are 1.5 times more likely than white people to get dementia. For Denise's mom, language became the first barrier. Most of the care centers are going to have people that speak in English, but English as your second language is going to be the first thing that you forget. So my mom, although she had a PhD and she was, she had perfect English growing up, up until five years ago, where she went back to just Spanish. Nationwide, 14% of Hispanic people aged 65 and older have Alzheimer's. Quality of education and exposure, higher rates of, of poverty, greater exposure to adversity and discrimination. The Alzheimer's Association says a similar percentage of Georgia's Hispanic population is affected. Drug was just re, uh, released in the last year, but right now there is no, no cure. But there is more promise coming. Denise hopes that this World Alzheimer's Day, people remember to be patient, to not judge, and to check for early signs of the disease. And I still get to hug and kiss her, and she smells like my mom, although sometimes it frustrates me. I feel like I'm still very lucky to have her. Paula Suro. My mom took this picture. 11 Alive News.